Yeah, my name is uh, Dr. Bill Hewson, a, a clinical professor of medicine at the University of California, San Diego, and I am the director of the UCSD Center for Occupational and Environmental Medicine. Uh, the symptoms of mesothelioma are highly variable. A part of it depends on how rapidly the tumor develops, uh, and part of it depends on, on where the tumor is. If the tumor is in the chest, patients often complain of heaviness on the affected side because you have a, an accumulation of fluid in the chest. Uh, they can have uh, pain if the tumor invades into the chest wall and the nerves. Uh, very often they'll have cough. Uh, and uh, as with many cancers, people may gradually lose their appetite, lose their weight, and feel generally unwell. The same types of symptoms can occur in the abdomen, but very often there, the first symptoms are sort of distension and bloating. People all of a sudden begin to need to sort of let out their belt a couple of notches. And then comes the pain and the, and the other symptoms. So they're not very specific symptoms, and it can take a while before a patient really appreciates that they're ill and before they seek medical attention.